And we're underway, and this will be another touchback. There's third down and three. Nussmeyer off the hands of their leading receiver, Mason Taylor. On second down and 15, Dart throwing deep and running open. Trey Harris could not hang on. Instructions to the offensive line. Parrish, first year starter on one of the best offensive lines in the country. They protect Nussmeyer very well. It's caught, but the receiver was out of bounds. Lacey and came back in. A flag is thrown. He got the first down to midfield, but that one is almost certainly going to come back. Handing off the verdict to Ken Williamson. It is an illegal touch against Kyron Lacey. They should have had an 81-yard touchdown on the first possession. Here's another receiver open down the field, and a diving catch made by Caden Lee. Lee went in motion. And breaking free, Henry Parrish. Looked like they had him stacked up. They're in field goal range. Here's Bentley. Change of direction and a first down. Not afraid to run it here either. Dart under duress, flag thrown. It's going to be a holding call against the right tackle, Micah Pettis. Dart weaves inside the five. That's almost certainly coming back. To help them. Third and 16. They gave Dart plenty of time. Harris tripped up. 32-yard attempt. Charlie Pollock, the holder. That one is no good. Wide to the right. Caden Durham's become their leading rusher. Really helped them come back to win the game at South Carolina. Nussmeyer has it deflected up in the air, and it is intercepted. Jamarius Brown brought it back inside the 15-yard line. Just an incredible play and pass rush off the right-hand side and a poor decision by Nussmeyer by throwing it up. And No hesitation for Lane Kiffin. They're going for fourth down and one. They snap it to Parrish again, and he gets stopped. Braden Swenson. He had completed 70% of his passes coming in. Down the middle, that's on target. Kyron Lacey across the 30. And taken down by Lewis Moores, back in action after missing a couple of weeks. Mason Taylor, the tight end, went in motion. Swing pass to Josh Williams. Still on his feet. Another first down. They'll mark him out of bounds. After he led that historic offense here at LSU last year. Nussmeyer throws, and it's behind Lacey from Oregon. Second year here. He was a three-year duck. Play action pass all day for Dart. Harris is open again and has it this time. And he's down at the 38-yard line of LSU. Final half minute of the opening quarter. Dart manages to escape for the moment. Wants to run and gets taken down. Turned it into a gain of a couple. Are you going for it on fourth down here? Uh, no. Okay, thank you, coach. And he does send the field goal team out. And this time, Davis is on target from 49 yards. And really challenged that offensive line. They're 0 for 2 on third down. There's all kinds of movement. And finally, a flag. Uman Mielin on the field on third down and long for the Ole Miss defense. Nussmeyer has time. Has a wide open receiver. Lacey a first down to the Rebel 45-yard line. Caleb Jackson has come in and running back now. And he gets dropped for a big loss. Sunteran Perkins blew it up. Boy, that was a strange call. Bentley, first down and more. And he's going to go, bouncing off tacklers. Touchdown. 50 yards for Ulysses Bentley, the fourth. Major Burke. He's all over it. I mean, he sees Bentley. He's out to the outside. Then, boom, Bentley puts his left foot in the ground, cuts back to the right, breaks a tackle. What a colorful rivalry this is. Flag down on the snap. 
Josh Williams wide open on the catch. Upended across the 40 by Jaden Kennedy. Tight ends in LSU history. They send him deep down the field. Nussmeyer throws on the run. Wide open. And a first down to the Ole Miss 40. Shelton Sampson, redshirt freshman, came on. He does not have a career catch. Nussmeyer dodged the rush. He's on target. Kyron Lacey, first down. Only other LSU quarterbacks ever to do that. The Heisman winners, Burrow and Daniels. And now he's thrown a touchdown to Trey Dez Green. The true freshman from right down the road. His second career touchdown, a 12-yarder. Dart takes off running. They had pressure on him. Dart caught first down. Caden Priestcorn, the tight end. Far hash on Ole Miss's hash gets very tough from here. Out quickly to Caden Lee. Ordinary the slot receiver. Dart short set first down he fired a dart to Jordan Watkins who's inside the 20 two for two on third down of this drive dart plenty of time and zone and it is caught for a touchdown by Trey Harris with major burns right there best receiver against the nickel and slightly undersized burns. Just an incredible catch, which gives Harris the freedom to go over and whack. Whoa, no. Oh, oh, no. Rolling now after its opening loss to Georgia. Nussmeyer going deep. Lacey, single coverage, flag down. Caden Durham comes in and running back. Nussmeyer forced back, throws on the run, diving attempt. By Zadion Thomas. Nussmeyer, that time a nice catch by Anderson and another first down of Nussmeyer. And he is the target and he has it. And a first down out of bounds at the 17 yard line. And now Jared Ivey is down on the field. And the fans boo. Now we should point out this is the first time tonight, Lane Kiffin's hollering at Ken Williamson, that there has been a stoppage for an injured Ole Miss player. They have been heavily criticized the last three games for one injury stoppage that looked questionable after another. 29 of them in the last three games. Maybe calling some timeouts at some point here, too, with how fast they can go. Nussmeyer against the Blitz had an open receiver and it's caught by Xavier Thomas who wasn't as wide open as Aaron Anderson but it worked pretty well covered Kennedy actually gets a hand on it Ooh, the nose of the football goes down after some review the runner did not control the ball going to the ground And they bring pressure, and Nussmeyer throws for Aaron Anderson over his head. Baltimore, 33-yard attempt, and that one hooks inside the right upright. Ole Miss typically pretty aggressive. They can score quickly. They have all three timeouts. Parrish swung down after a five-yard gain. LSU thought there was a fumble here. Ooh, and that... That Ooh. ball does look like it's coming out. Now you got to make sure you see an immediate recovery as well, which, which you was. do. Runner lost possession, trying to be ruled down. They rushed four. Nussmeyer sets, throws, end zone! Diving attempt and incomplete. Line gains the 18. Nussmeyer over the middle, incomplete for Lacey. Slade Roy, the long snapper, that... Operation is excellent, as is the kick. Hey everyone, Wheels here. I want to take a moment to send my thoughts and prayers to everyone in the South that's been impacted by the recent hurricanes. We're thinking about you and praying for all of you. I appreciate all your support and hope you enjoy the rest of the video. On third down and four, three-man rush. Nassmeyer has a man breaking open! Aaron Anderson on! Inside the 30. 
They are in field goal range. We're midway through the third quarter. Pressure brought by Ole Miss. Up for grabs. And incomplete. Again, trying to get it to Mason Taylor. This would be the longest field goal of the year for Damian Ramos. 46 yards. That's nowhere near it. Winners, Tennessee leading. Ulysses Bentley broke free for a 50 yard touchdown on a fourth down and short play in the first half. In the slot. Dart throws, has his receiver open, a juggling catch made by Caden Lee. Second and two, Henry Parrish. First down. Pressure again, Dart in trouble. He got plastered and threw it away. 35-yard attempt. Made one from 49, missed earlier from 32, and hooks that one in. A little extra support in those toes. Nussmeyer, quarterback Snaith. A lot of down-the-field throws tonight. Fakes the handoff to Williams, throws it to Williams in the flat. He made a man miss, and that is a big... And a first down. Southern California and South Carolina. Nussmeyer lobs it up the flag down. Anderson's jersey was being pulled by John Saunders Jr. First of foul, wasn't a passer. Defense number two. Can they get close enough to perhaps go for it on fourth down? They're going to go for the end zone. Jump ball out of the back of the end zone. It was a missed opportunity. 41-yard try, and that one slices back through. So he's three out of four. And Nussmeyer at 330. Bless! They get him again! Major Burns was there, trying to win their fifth in a row, which would match their longest winning streak in three seasons under Brian Kelly. Third down and 15, Ole Miss. Dart throws, caught! A huge conversion. They have Pegues in the pistol behind Dart. They faked it to him. Dart throws. Man wide open. It's Lee again. What a night for Caden Lee. And they stopped him at the 20. Great call by Charlie Weiss Jr. and Lane Kiffin. Ole Miss in reverse. They're back at the 35. First and 25. Lots of time for Dart. Into a crowd. And intercepted by Zion. Missed a couple of games this year. They really missed him. Nussmeyer given a lot of time. And that's up for grabs and picked off. Trey Amos takes it right back. A crucial mistake by Garrett Nussmeyer. They've converted 10 of the previous 18. Pressure and down goes Dart again. With the fifth sack of the night. Braden Swenson with this one for LSU. They're back on their own 12. They brought pressure, it was picked up. Now he's running out of time. Now he takes off running. Now he has the first down. They uh, were aware of the controversies, but when they needed it, they went back to the fake injury. J.J. Pegues, that is a free ball, at least for the moment. Jared Ivey has the ball, and the officials are saying it is Ole Miss ball. The hand right there, it looks like it's beginning to move forward. Or was the ball stripped off his fingertips right before it was? Right there. Yeah, I think you're right. I think his arm is coming forward. The quarterback's hand was moving forward before it was passed. Five yards in penalties. Jackson Dart after the fake. Caden Lee flagged down again. Whit Weeks swung him down. First and foul. Post guard tackle. Defense number 40. Dart calls his own number again. Jackson Dart inside the 25 with another first down. If I can get him matched up with the safety, I'm taking that matchup all day long. Bentley bounces outside and gets stopped.
Short of the first down by Jordan Gilbert. Missed a shorty earlier in the game, but has bounced back nicely, and that one is crushed. Fourth and seven, 2.22 to go. Ole Miss up by a touchdown. Three-man rush all to the right of Nussmeyer, and he's on target. Pete Golding brought pressure. And that throw caught at the 38-yard line, Aaron Anderson. Ball was thrown, high point, reels it in. He's so athletic. And you see that ball start to move a little bit as he's going to the ground. So the receiver did not maintain possession as he hit the ground. Nussmeyer flushed, running for his life. Throws, caught! And there goes Taylor! They're ruling him down! They're ruling him down! Crowd doesn't know it, he went all the way down to the end zone. Watch the left elbow here. Boom, down, right there. Good call by the official. Second and 10. Durham, the running back. Taylor's open. Catches it, goes out of bounds near the sticks. It looks like he has the first down. Josh Williams, the running back. They try to surprise Ole Miss with the run. He did well. They send Williams out as a receiver. Garrett Nussmeyer to the end zone. Touchdown, Aaron Anderson. Savers to the left of Dart. Bentley's the running back. They give it to Bentley. He slides down, but he's short of field goal range. Another safety back there with him as well. Last play regulation, and it's Weeks with the sack. Slams down Dart. And put the punctuation on regulation time. This will be one yard longer than Davis's career long. Only a three-man rush for Dart. And he throws. And it's broken up by Zai Alexander. He's made three and missed one tonight. That is good. Wow, what a kick. Josh Williams, the running back. Tyron Lacey, the motion man. Pump fake, Nussmeyer goes back. Shoulder, touchdown. Tyron Lacey, and LSU wins. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, which can be done by clicking my logo on screen and hitting subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.